She, oh, that music. That music. Oh. It's not for me. I wish it were. It never be for uh, one she's of us. a national champion. She's a world champion and Olympic gold figure, a gold medal figure skater champion. She's here to give oh. us a sneak peek at the upcoming 2018. <laughs> look at that. That was 20 years ago. Oh, look at that. Please welcome Tara Lipinski to our house. That gives me chills still looking at that. The music gives me chills. I love the music. Oh, <laughs> it gets I mean, me every time. Everything about the Olympics. I mean, from the, from the music <laughs> opening ceremonies, everybody comes out. You see our team and our oh. colors. And then even the, even when they're standing on the podium and they play the well, national they, the anthem. anthem. <gasps> that was 20 years ago for you. You were 15 so years old. long ago. I don't know where baby. time went. <laughs> I was. That seems like it was last year, though. Seriously. Don't I, know. I feel like I just watched her. <laughs> I know. Let me, oh. let, me, uh, let me see if you can get my mind around this concept. You're 15 years old. Right. You are there representing the nation of America. America. <laughs> At 15, what goes through your mind when they're like, okay, you're up, and your your skates hit the ice and you go out to take your place? It is terrifying. When they call your name, you want to run back. You're like, would yes. anyone notice <laughs> if, if I, I just left? left. <laughs> They'll never know. You, never Fine. know. And then when you're waiting for like the music to start and it's just silent oh, in this big oh. arena and your legs are shaking, my legs were actually shaking at the Olympics. Oh, I had never experienced anything oh. like that because as a skater, you train for nationals and worlds, but then you go to an opening ceremonies and you realize this is bigger than your sport. This is bigger than you. Oh. This everyone is watching, and you just don't know how to deal with the pressure. But, but are you in every moment here, like like a dancer will count steps, or be just, or do you just sort of like let go? I had to wing it. I had to wing yeah. it because the day of, I went for my pregame meal with my parents, where it's usually like we're laughing and it's like my time to relax, and I was crying. I'm like, you gotta oh call boy. them. Oh, I can't call, do it. I'm yeah. it off. I need I, you to no, postpone it. I was serious. I was like, call it off. <laughs> but I you had already skated and done a the, great job. I did a short program and yeah. I did well, but then this was it. The, this next four minutes would determine everything. So I was like, I cannot. And my mom was like, we're so proud of you. My dad's like, don't worry. And then I was like, yeah. well, wait a minute. I mean, that easy? <laughs> You're like, I yeah. got this. I'm going to go do it. But I was so, so nervous. Well, let me ask you this then. When they call your name and you've won that gold medal, like it makes me want to cry. I mean, I have a young daughter in 12 years. She could be you. I mean, she's yeah. never ice skated except for once in her life. But I'm just <laughs> saying. But what's your dream, mean, you know? What goes through your mind when you hear your name at 15 years old that you are the gold medalist? It's just a surreal moment because you are that nervous. And then all of a sudden, like you get angry at yourself. And you're like, I'm, I'm in control of my destiny. I've worked so hard for this. And then it all yeah. of a sudden starts falling into place. And it's this unbelievable feeling. And they tell you that you're the Olympic champion, you're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> April Fool's. Yeah, you're like, I'm going back to the rink tomorrow, and there's going to be some more falls no. and tears. And it and it's just this surreal, amazing feeling. And then the very best part is getting up on the podium <sighs> and hearing your, nas your the anthem. Yep. And it, they, they put the medal around your neck. It's nuts. Did you watch the other competitors, or you just like blinders on it? Want to hear what they did? Or I I would sometimes watch this this event. Obviously, my coaches were yeah. like, don't listen. But I remember being in the very back rank, and my main competitor, Michelle Kwan, yeah. right. had skated oh right before God. me. Oh, so right. I was just old fashioned, just hands over my ears, and I like let it go, and I heard five nine, five, which was like almost a perfect score. Yeah. So I was like. Well, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow, wow, wow. But do you still get chills when you see those pictures? I do. It was, it, and it's not just being on the ice and those memories, because some of that is a blur. I really went for the whole experience. I stayed in the village. Like, my parents were really cool. They're like, okay. Like, it was just me, and I'm just walking sure. around. And I loved every moment, because I did other things other than just skating. So looking right. back now, I feel like those memories are so good. But, yeah. but now you have to go... And not do, but talk. Because no, right. you're commentating. It's a lot easier. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a it, lot easier, but no, it's, look, it's, I mean, and you were Johnny Weir Johnny as well. Weir. You guys I mean, are the best I know. Oh, what a team. about the Olympics. Yeah. Yes. You're my favorite thing. <laughs> it's true. That, that is true. very nice. Oh, Which is more pressure, by the way. Thank you. Yes. Very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're used to it, though. So no. you can handle Well, that's the, the thing. My dad was like, when I said I was going to go into commentating, it's a very hard thing to get into. There's not, you know, people that commentate stay for a very long time. Yeah. And it's, you know, live television. So it's like why I'm always putting myself in these like Uncomfortable high situation. pressure <laughs> situations. <laughs> but I must live for it. So I obviously yeah. love it. And it's still a lot easier than actually going on the ice. And How did skating. the partnership start with Johnny? Um, well, I knew of Johnny Weir, but it's, you know, it's a small world in skating. Sure. But we never had a bond <laughs> or that. a friendship. 
And then before the Olympics, we finally kind of met up and he was working just the men's and I was working just the ladies and we were sitting outside with our handbags, <laughs> talking and bonding. <laughs> As you would with John. Yes. 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 And we were both and sitting outside with our handbags. Yes. I was that. like, ours are so okay. similar. And then, <laughs> and then we're, we said, why aren't we doing this together? Which I think is, you know, it was the moment I realized we had this connection because I come from an individual sport as he does too. And right. you, there's no team aspect right. to it. But yeah. we immediately felt this connection and friendship and and I think NBC was like, hmm, we'll see. They like made us do a trial. They probably thought we were what? crazy. And then we did well. So we got the job together and, and the rest is history. Me. Well, so it's, it's, yeah, and we love it. Yeah. Everybody loves to watch you two together. Well, February 9th are opening ceremonies yes, for the Winter are. Olympics in yeah. South Korea. You will be there. What do you think of uh, the, the figure skating team that the United States is sending? The, the U.S. has a strong team in the dance event, but in the men's event, it's really exciting. So there is a guy named Nathan Chen who is just incredible. They call him the quad king, and he does five or six quads in one program. In jeans, no less. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. He wow. is, he's one of the favorites. So two years ago, many people probably thought, oh, I don't even know if he'd make it on the podium. And now he's beat everyone and he's going for gold. Wow. And Can what about the girls team? Yeah. So at the outside chance for the podium, but a strong team. You have Mariah Nagasu, which is a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. She missed her chance to make the Olympic team four years ago because they replaced her with Ashley Wagner. And since then, she has just been so driven, and she's on this mission, and she made the Olympic team, and she's doing this very difficult jump, the triple axel. So she'll be very exciting to watch. So hopefully, like, her dream sort of comes oh. true. Oh, what did you say? Wow. Outside the podium? Is that what you said? Outside uh, yeah. chance? Right. Outside chance. Right. Right. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So you kind of know going in, like, which Who's country favored. is going to be well, you, the favorite. Yeah, because we, we do skating all year long. There's these Grand Prix events, and the Russians are very, very dominant right now. Who's uh, our, big, our biggest competition? The Russians? Russians. Probably first and second will go to the Russians. But you never know because it is an Olympics. And Come on! Right? Yeah. 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 Come on! I mean, in the 11th hour, you'll see someone fall who was the top runner. You're like, what just this happened? This is the one event I yeah. hate to predict because it's, the nerves, it, yeah. it can either be a disaster or it could be the best skate of someone's and yet, life. And yet, 20 years later, you faced something else that a lot of people can't accomplish, and if they do, they mess it up. <laughs> you got married. Oh, <laughs> yes. yes, you did. Yes, you got married. Did. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, your husband proposed to you in the most wonderful, I told you, I said I love yeah. great proposal oh. stories. I mean, it's a Hallmark movie he, waiting to happen. It, it is, really it is. is. He really, it was, it was good. So, I mean, we had only been together seven months, so I, I really didn't know. We hadn't talked about it. We kind of knew this was, this was it. But I love Christmas. And I love going you to the came Christmas. You the right place. <laughs> right. I, yeah. that. I love Again, the Christmas. A Hallmark script. Yeah, right? right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Christmas windows. And I was living in New York. And that would be something I would do every year. We would just go and walk and see the Christmas windows. And it was our first Christmas together. So I had told him I really wanted to do that. But for some reason, during our trip, we didn't do it. And so after, like, we had this big party. And I was like, this is really strange. He wants to go to dinner and go Chris, like go look at these Christmas windows. He found a special one. And I'm like, you found a special one. I know all of them. <laughs> you know, like, what are you talking about? So, Silly child. Right. Like. But still had no idea. Ooh. And then we he somehow convinced the plaza to rent out a window. Wow. And he had this painting made of him proposing to me in front of my home what? in California. Stop. And that was like in the center of this magical window at the plaza. And he, we just walked oh up to it, and I was like, what? I like, <laughs> wow. I, so you had wow. no idea. So wait, you're standing no there idea. looking at this big window of a picture yes. painting of your childhood yes. home? So you look at your home, yeah. you're like, wait a minute, that's my house. Yeah, like that's, that's your house. That's my house, and there's Todd, and, and that and that's me, and he's on one knee. So what is happening? And then I looked at him, and he was on one knee. Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Can again. I borrow that? Because <laughs> that's way better than my story. <laughs>